Hello everyone, and welcome to day 171 of playing Persona 4 Golden in real time. This series where I play through the data in the game on the same date in real life, one day at a time. Now I've been doing this for the last 170 days, so if you could subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. But today is September 28th, so let's go ahead and see what the gang is up to today. As usual, we're going to go ahead and get synced up to start us off. Hey, you're coming to practice, right? I'll be waiting. It's gonna be waiting a long time. So, you know, well, catch you later. Maybe you should show up to basketball practice after school. Okay, I feel like he's gonna be deservedly mad at me for how we're actually gonna end up spending our time. D did you ask him? Let's talk later. Maybe you should go see I after school. Alright, looks like that's it for today. Oh, hey! Uh, um, sorry, how do you pronounce your usernames? Uh, speakers, I'm guessing? By the way, thanks for tuning in. Glad to hear from you. Spikers Tuber. Okay, then. Got it. Well, thanks for tuning in, and hope you enjoy. And it turned out that she was actually a robot. That's important. I recommend that you memorize the context. I feel like he's kind of going off on his own tangents today. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Did you all eat? I had a big meal, but I'm still hungry. I should have eaten an apple for dessert. No, two. No, three. While we're on the subject of apples, what part of the human body has an apple in it? Anybody know? Okay, Hanamura. G give me a wild guess. You might surprise yourself. Well, it's that the Adam's apple, so... Huh? I don't know. I don't want to guess. Just tell us already. Hey, you. Do you know the answer? Alright, that beat the rope. You gave him the answer you think is correct. Good on you, Hanamura. The Adam's apple, or lar laryngeal prominence, is part of the human throat. Isn't that a funny name? The term comes from the biblical story of Adam, and that he got a piece of the infamous apple stuck in his throat. What a wimp. He can even swallow the apple whole. Ha ha ha. And really getting kick out of that one, apparently. Wow, thanks, you. You were a great help. Yosuke appreciates you. You feel you've become a little closer to Yosuke. Your expression has increased. Okay. I mean, we'll take it. Classes have ended for today. You are waiting for Naoto to recover. Yeah, I feel pretty bad for blowing off Ko. And instead, we're gonna literally walk right past him. And then spend time with I. Also, right behind you, Kiko. Just feels bad all around. D did you ask? Come with me. Since you have Alraun, Alraun, a Persona of the Moon Arcana, you two might get along well. You feel your relationship with I is going to become closer soon. Will you spend the afternoon with I? Unfortunately, yes. Okay. I looks almost happy. Yasugami High Rooftop. I yanked your arm all the way up here. Mm, so, well. did you ask him what kind of girl he likes? You told Ai about Ko's type. Nice girls. Yeah, that's bad news for Ai. Nice? He didn't say anything about being cute? Not even, like, a beautiful woman or anything like that? Ai looks almost panicked. Yeah, she knows her, her odds are gone. <laughs> yeah, Ai's hard to like, but... I'm committed to maxing all the social links, so here I am. But every guy wants to be with a pretty girl, right? It's the good-looking girls who find love, isn't it? Forget this. I'm tired of being around the bush. Just go ask him if he's got a crush on anyone. What are you waiting for? Go! Yeah, she's really given up hope on that nice opportunity. You don't appear to have a choice. You decide to check downstairs. <laughs> I mean... That makes more sense than checking on the rooftop. Yo. Oh, hey you. Man, I've gotta pee like a racehorse. You ask Ko if he has a crush on anyone in particular. Huh? You wanna know who I like? Uh, this is awkward. Well, um, he's not gonna say me, is he? He made one more honest effort to get him to tell you. 
All right, but I'm only telling you this because I trust you, man. Don't tell her. In fact, don't tell anybody. Shie-san. Ooh, bad news. I already maxed out her social link. Shie-san, dang it. Are you happy now? And while I'm at it, let me tell you. I'm gosh dang jealous that you sit next to her in class, you lucky B. See you later. I really gotta go. <laughs> I imagine he's just confessing his love for Chie as he's, like, just ruining his pants. You feel the presence of someone watching you. It seems I was eavesdropping. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Don't come any closer. This escalated so quickly. Chie? As in Chie Sadanaka, right? That frumpy girl? I- I got be out by that? I'm a hundred times better looking. I has lost her composure. Oh my god, you need to calm her down before it gets any worse. Guys like pretty girls, don't they? I'm pretty now, and I had to work hard to become this way. But if I can't be loved then, then what's the point? This just got out of hand so quickly. Alright, let's say... Come over here, you know, try to just get away from that ledge. Sniff, sob. Wow. I thought I was gonna have to play that song that's like, step away from that ledge. But anyway, I... I used to be fat and clumsy. My family was poor and everyone at school bullied me all the time. They used to surround me and say I was gross, or they called me names like Piggy Hara. The boy I had a crush on even told me not to look at him, because I'd give him my germs. Those awful memories still haunt me in my nightmares. It's hard to have this, like, sensitive moment with her after that incredible escalation, like, ten seconds ago. But I'm gonna try to... pit myself in the moment and take this more seriously. About the time I entered middle school, my family came into their money. Everyone got so jealous of us that we ran away and moved here. I knew this was my chance to start over. It was time to show them all. I dieted, got into shape, and read every fashion or woman's magazine I could get my hands on. I studied them like they were textbooks and learned all the secrets, everything from attracting guys to smiling better. But... <laughs> Looks like it was all for nothing. I couldn't be loved unless I became pretty, and now that I am, I still can't have it. I guess I'm doomed. I'll never be loved, will I? It's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. I mean, she has self-awareness, that's one thing. Let's say he just doesn't know you. I mean, honestly, if he did, that you wouldn't help either, but... So nice to me. I should have fallen in love with you. Not... I... I... Not so sure about that one. However, you are, you are already in a relationship with another girl. What do you want to do? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I mean, let's just not engage on this one. Hey, why don't you and I just go out? I don't really want to commit to that. Let's say you sure about that. You're a weird guy. I'm You're sorry. right. I'm still alone confused. I smile sadly. You feel your relationship with I has grown deeper. Did it though? Is this the track to becoming closer? The I Ebihara social link has reached level 6. Your power to create personas of the Moon Arcana has grown. I'm going home now. Thank you. That really sounded like a little sincere. It's weird. I walk down the stairs with heavy footsteps. You decide to go home. Yeah, I don't know how we're supposed to You're follow back. that day up. Oh yeah, a, pack a package came for you. It's on the table over there. It's the Death Scudetto combo you purchased from the TV show. Obtain Death Scudetto and Wasabi Jelly. In addition, you obtained a bonus prize sticker. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. Alright, let's go ahead. Just end the night on a little bit of a laid back note and just do some reading. Let's see what we got to read. Let's go ahead and finish The Divine Way. Seems like a, a nice relaxing book after a very stressful day. You decide to continue reading The Divine Way. 
This book describes Shinto rituals and oral traditions with some helpful illustrations. You understand the material, but you don't feel that you could teach this to someone else. Since you finished Hyper Speed Reading, you're able to read more than normal. You have finished reading The Divine Way. Your knowledge has significantly increased. Your expression has increased. Alright, very stressful day, but, you know, we got through it. But that's going to wrap up the gameplay portion of today and bring us on to Shuffle Time. Alright, let's see what fate has in store for us. Today's card is the Ace of Swords in the upright position. So it's upright. That seems promising. Let's see what fate has in store for us. Upright Ace of Swords meaning. As with all the aces, the Ace of Swords indicates that one is about to experience a moment of breakthrough. With this sharp blade and representing the power of the intellect, this sword has the ability to cut through deception and find truth. In layman's terms, this card represents that moment in which one can see the world from a new point of view, as a place that is filled with nothing but new possibilities. It is, therefore, the best time to work on your goals, as the aces all give green lights and are signals of waiting opportunities and new beginnings. It might also be a good time for you to seek justice and the truth in all matters since your conscience is clear and your thoughts are swift. If you rise to the occasion, your sharpness and clarity in thought will be rewarded. When we look at the swords closely and see its double edge, we are also reminded that this sword may be either used for noble deeds or to deal destruction. It all depends on the wielder, and is a warning too that excessive power holds the danger to corrupt. If you stick with principles, the sword will ser serve you well. Okay. I feel like that's a pretty good card reading. It's all about stuff that's like, you have a lot of potential, you, got, you, know, you can do a lot of things, but... Now's a moment, make that decision and follow through with it and see how far it takes you. So, you know, I feel like we've been on a pretty good hot streak with all the fortunes recently being pretty positive and nothing that's like bad things are going to happen or you have to really like change your ways or anything like that. It's all been like, hey, things are going to work out. You're doing well, you know, put effort into things that you're working on. And I think this is pretty in line with that. But I feel like it's definitely a good one, because taking that moment to just see everything as a new opportunity, go for, strive for what you're looking for, I think that's true every day, and this saying, you know, today's the day, make that change, it's definitely something that you should take to, take into, or take to heart, but you know, not just because of this day being it, and this specific card. I think every day is that, so don't be afraid to wait for a specific card to do it, but if you do need to wait for that, here it is. So that's going to be another card down and another day done. So feel free to subscribe if you'd like to follow along with the journey as I do this every day. By the way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.